What's up, Wayne Baron here with Artifact Studios, and as you can tell, we are inside of Handbrake, and what we're going to do is that we're going to rip DVDs with Handbrake. This is a really easy process, and if you got a 64-bit system with at least 8 gigabytes of memory and an i5 processor or higher, then you can rip these very, very quickly. So we're going to go ahead and choose our M right here, which is the movie April Fool's Day. After it gets finished scanning, you will see right here it says Source April Fool's Day, so we're going to go ahead and select what we want to save it at. And we see that it's setting at 720 by 480. So that's going to be right over here. Fast. We're going to choose very fast 480p30. So you got options. You got very fast and you got fast 480. And then we got HQ 480 for surround. And then super HQ 480 for surround right here. So you can choose either one of these four formats in order to render out your video. I've noticed that these two right here look identical to the DVD. I have not tried out the HQ480P or the Super HQ480P. I'm wanting to say that it's probably going to be a bigger file than what these two are. So if you got something this size right here, which is only an hour and a half long, it's only going to do about a 600 megabyte file. So if you come over here to the HQ480 or the Super HQ, it's probably going to get it close to a gigabyte in size. So it really depends on what you are looking for. And so we're going to choose the very fast 480p, and then we're going to simply just choose start. Okay, and as you can see, we've got processing pass one of two. So we're going to go ahead and stop it. We're going to come back over here to subtitles, and we can see that it jumped up again. So it automatically loaded the subtitles, but we don't want subtitles here. So we're going to uh, choose configure defaults where it says add foreign audio scan. So we're going to uncheck this and then we're going to choose save. And then we're going to clear the subtitles because we do not need subtitles. Come back over here to picture. Make sure that our very fast 480 is chosen and then choose start encode. And it should only show one down here instead of one of two. And there we go. We've got one of one. So getting rid of our subtitles because see if you got the subtitles then it's going to process the subtitle first and then it's going to go through and it's going to do the pass on whenever it act actually decodes the dvd to make it into a video format for you okay it is done let's go ahead and open up our movie right here and there's our movie all right and so yeah this pretty much looks almost like it does on the uh on the dvd okay i am wayne baron this is dark effect studios and this is inside of handbrake how to rip a dvd like i said you've got all these other options that you can choose so i'm gonna play around with them and i'm actually going to give these other two a shot to see what they look like compared to this one y'all have a good one now bye bye